In this video, I am going over the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro deals from AT&T to help you get the best bang for your buck. But let me let you in on a little secret. These deals are not that great. They're not that great from any carrier, even if you're looking at Verizon or T-Mobile or even Google itself. It's like Google doesn't even want to sell the Pixel 6 series because you can get a brand new iPhone 13 for much cheaper than you can a Pixel 6. But I digress, if you really want a Pixel 6, then this is the video for you. There are some great ways to get one discounted. Let's go. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I go over the best deals for all of the newest gadgets, and I help you decide what cell phone carrier and internet providers are best for you and answer any questions you may have along the way. And also, we're on every social media platform ever, so if you don't want to watch a full-length video or you're not in the mood, you just want to get deals straight to your feed, then be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and the rest of them. We would love to have you join us there as well. Why is the Pixel 6 so much more expensive at AT&T and Verizon? I'm gonna quickly go over that again. The Pixel 6 is more expensive at AT&T and Verizon than any other place you can buy it because it is accessible to all types of 5G flavors. So if you aren't worried about that, if you don't need all types of 5G accessibility, and you can learn more about that in my most recent video, you can check that out up here, then maybe you should buy the Google from somewhere, the Google Pixel 6 from somewhere else because again, you're looking at a pretty hefty fee from AT&T, but let's jump into it. There is a very simple and straightforward deal for the Pixel 6 from AT&T. I'll be going over the 6 Pro after I go over the deal for the Pixel 6. But basically, AT&T is offering you the Pixel 6 for only $15 a month. Now, in total, that takes about $200 off the cost of the Pixel 6 from AT&T from $739 to about $539. Now, the reason, again, it's more expensive at $739 for the base price of the Pixel 6 than anywhere else is because of that 5G connectivity. You're not gonna find full 5G connectivity from Google or T-Mobile, so keep that in mind. So yeah, the basic deal is this. You get $200 off the total cost of the Pixel 6, bringing it down to $540. Those payments are split up into $36 monthly installments over the course of 36 months. Duh. Those monthly payments will cost you about $15 a month for your phone. On top of that, to get this deal, you have to sign up for one of AT&T's more expensive plans. You have to get a postpaid unlimited plan that starts at $75 a month. So there are two plans to choose from from AT&T there. You can check out all of AT&T's plans right here to learn more about them. So altogether, if you're a single person on AT&T looking for the Pixel 6, you're looking at about $90 a month plus some initial upfront taxes and fees, but that's only like a one-time thing. So really you're just looking at about $90 a month. So what does that all come out to for Pixel 6 over the course of your installment plan? I'm gonna need you to sit down for this one, okay? Just sit down, take a deep breath, relax before I shoot your blood pressure through the roof. Over the course of 36 months or three years, about, you're looking at approximately $3,200 for your Pixel 6 and the accompanied cell phone plan that goes along with it. If you wanna take that cost down just a smidgen, you can trade in a device, but you're only gonna get up to $200 for the top of the line trade-in. So if you have, say, an iPhone 12 you wanna trade in, only worth 200 bucks for the Pixel 6. And everything else is just cheaper and cheaper from there. I went to see how much my iPhone 10 would go for, it was about $100 for a trade-in value, so look. Unless you have a really old device you wanna trade in, I just, I just wouldn't. I would save it or sell it somewhere else because you're gonna get a lot more money for it than you are trading it into AT&T for the Pixel 6. But if you do want to do that, you can trade it in for $200 and that'll bring your 36 month cost down to just about three grand even. Now look, I am normally a fan girl for AT&T. If you watch my channel, you've been around, you know that I have AT&T service and I swear by it, I really do love it. But this deal from AT&T is just Wah, wah. It's like horrible. I literally don't think they want to sell the Pixel 6 to anybody. Let's just compare it to the iPhone 13 deal they had. Look, you can get the iPhone 13 from AT&T over the course of 36 months for only $2,700. That's $600 cheaper than what you're looking at for the Pixel 6. And the iPhone 13 is a much better quality phone. It just is. So 
Look, if you're looking to buy the Pixel 6, get it elsewhere. Just don't get it from AT&T. I shouldn't say that. I really shouldn't say that, but I am. Or if you want to stay with AT&T and you want to get a great phone, then get the iPhone 13 or literally any other phone because there are some great deals out there that are much better than this one that will save you a lot of money. Now here's the kicker. The Pixel 6 is a cheaper device, technically, than the Pixel 6 Pro, but you're gonna save money going with the Pixel 6 Pro at AT&T over the Pixel 6, and this is why. Here's the deal that you get if for the Pixel 6 Pro if you buy it from AT&T. You're looking at, again, a 36 month installment plan and you have to buy a plan that's at least $75 or more per month. So yeah, you have two plans to choose from again. Those are the basics. They're the same as the Pixel 6 deal. The difference here is how much you get for a trade-in value. For the 6 Pixel 6 Pro, you can trade in a phone and get up to $700 in trade-in credits, which is great. That's 500 more than you'd get for the Pixel 6. So really, it looks like AT&T is trying to get people to trade in their old devices and upgrade to the Pixel 6 Pro. And honestly, the Pixel 6 Pro is a great device, and I am considering about getting it just for the channel to use it as my tester phone. So with this 36 month in installment plan and the cost of the trade-in, you're looking at over the course of three years, about $2,900 for the cost of your cell phone and cell phone plan for a single person over the course of 36 months. Now, if you're keeping up with the math in your head, that is much cheaper than the Pixel 6 is for the deal that AT&T gives you. You're saving money going with a bigger and better phone with the Pixel 6 Pro deal from AT&T. Again, you will get a higher trade-in value for upgrading to any other device. If you're looking to upgrade, you'll get a better trade-in value going with a Galaxy device or an iPhone. But again, if you are a Google fan and you really want to try out the 6 Pro, then this deal might just be the best for you from AT&T. That's it for this AT&T Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro deal. Are you interested in it? Are you gonna bypass and go somewhere else? And does the full 5G connectivity do anything for you from AT&T or Verizon? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sherry Riggs, thanks for watching. Wow, I had so much energy, you know what? Wow, what a good film day, I'm stoked.